Hey guys, today was the first day of the Shizuka Hobby Show in Japan and as we expected, Bandai had a lot of goodies to show off for the anniversary of Gundam and the first big reveal actually got everybody by surprise never thought this was gonna appear but here it is, the Gundam Penelope 1, 1, 4, 4 skill, just the way I liked it and there's been a lot of comments about uh, you know how this is gonna be a, probably a brick model kit and yeah so what you know I really don't care because I think it looks great it has a very complex look with the flight unit uh, attached to the mobile suit and I really dig it probably gonna be as big as the Sazabi I would say for the real grid size maybe bigger but as of now it's still a prototype so we don't know how the color separation is gonna be like and it's probably gonna launch somewhere in time for Hathaway's Flash um, you know movie that's coming up sometime this year so very good year for Gunpla fans indeed and there was a big surprise as well there's the Master Great Ganrazaku Warrior the Luna Maria Hawk Custom this is a Master Great coming in September 2019 price yet to be announced but hey I, I really dig it finally we get a very proportionate right looking Ganazaku and I think the colors looks fantastic it looks a lot better than the hybrid version that we have seen before so I'm actually quite happy with that not forgetting there's also a master grade uh, crossbone XO version card that is going to be a premium Bandai and we finally get to see the um, sand rock in its full color glory in high grade so looks fantastic the one thing that I was not very excited about was this uh, high grade Mega Knight 36 units at 48,600 yen so I've seen some people quoting about 500 US dollars for this whole kit which I think if you're a big uh, you know Gundam Wing fan you definitely should get this but uh, for, for us the rest of us at 48,600 yen it's just a little bit too pricey but I, I have to admit it's kind of cool to have 36 different uh, looking units of grunts helping your sun rock to create a big ass diorama but for me I don't know I might get bored building the same kit over and over again but then again that's just me uh, the other good news is you know for Gundam Wing fans uh, but then again this is gonna be a premium Bandai is the real great Torgis tree so that is finally out i think we all expected the real grid toggies tree to come out under premium bandai so the good news is with the real grid toggies they've actually made a couple of um, new enhancements and modifications so it's not the same toggies one and two real grid that you built before if you look at the neck the shoulder uh, even the faceplate those have all been remodeled for the real great tall gears. Now the interesting is for the for the mega launcher. If you look at the uh, wires that's attached to the uh, mega launcher, so those are actual uh, LED wires apparently. So you can actually move and bend it. So it gives a little bit more of a realistic look for the mega launcher. Kind of bummed up that they didn't actually include the special effect parts for the mega launcher. I thought that is something that I kind of expect uh, for a premium Bandai, but. Hey, I still think that the kit looks good. Surprisingly, in all white and blue for the Togis tree in the model kit, it looks really, really good, right? Um, minimal water decals as expected for the Togis. So I think definitely something that I would love to get, but being a premium Bandai, probably it's gonna be a little bit hard for us to get over here. So if you guys are big Gundam Wing fans, will you guys be getting this? Let me know what you think of the real great Togis tree. And I'm sure there are a lot of you here who are advanced of Zeta fans, uh, myself included. So this is a very nice expansion pack, which is the Emergency Escape Pod, the Primos, a one one four four skill. If you have the um, Tier One, this expansion pack actually looks great. Uh, the only bad news is yes, this is a premium Bandai release as well. So if you are out of Japan, you are out of luck. There are a lot of other new. Um, announcement today at the show as well i think banda also had a very big move to showcase the 30 minutes mission i think they look quite quite nice there were a lot of a custom build on display by a lot of different builders from japan on display as well but unfortunately i couldn't get a lot of uh, pictures to share this time around there was also a lot of um, 
news about the new SDCS Gundam Wing Endless Wars version as well. So I think once we get the official pictures out, we'll be sharing in the next future video. Interestingly as well, for me at least, uh, I was actually quite happy that they have released the new Kamen Rider W figure as set. So being a big Kamen Rider fan, especially the figure as series, um, surprisingly for the Kamen Rider W, I think the colors, they look fantastic because you know, Kamen Rider W have a different half and half. It's from a yellow and black, uh, yellow and purple, green and purple. So I'm not sure how that gimmick is gonna work. Would you be able to buy a couple of sets or how would that actually work? I'm not too sure now. So once I have more information, I'll definitely share with you guys. But for now, I think the biggest news is who will actually pay 48,000 yen to buy the 36th unit of Mega Knight mobile suits. Uh, but for us, I think the biggest news today is definitely the Gundam Penelope. Uh, one 144 scale, I think but I made the right decision not to go one 100 scale because I think it's gonna be um, too big a brick at that size anyway. So might as well stick to a one 144 scale high grade. Will it go to a real grade? Who knows, maybe it's a step towards real grade. So for now, as usual, thank you guys so much for watching and please subscribe to our channel if you're new to our channel, yeah? So continue to be those Gunpla guys and thanks for watching.